one of the points I didn't get to address is, and I think we've, I think I heard people mention this topic in earlier Kuko Council um, Zoom forums, was the um, how there's too many luxury condos going up in our district and not enough affordable housing available. One of the things I want to work on, uh, and I've been speaking about this for many years now, is a moratorium on issuing building permits for luxury, which should actually include hotels, for hotels and luxury residential buildings until we have all of our affordable housing needs built and met. And one of the things we could do to incentivize getting people who normally work on luxury to work on affordable is to say that if you are a developer on any level, if you are a drafts person, an architect, anything you, whatever you do normally, whether it's for luxury or affordable, if you participate in fulfilling the needs of our affordable, you get certain credit. And when we, re when, we re when we take away the moratorium on building luxury, then the person or the, the development team with the most credits from building affordable, they'll be first in line to get their, their permit. Um, but that could work because what people don't understand is when somebody's trying to build affordable and some, going up against somebody building luxury, they're bidding on everything. They're bidding on land. And who's going to win in that bid? The luxury developer is going to win, right? Labor, who's going to outbid who? The luxury developer is going to outbid on the labor. Even materials like cement, they bid on that. So all of these factors will be outbid by luxury if they're still in the marketplace, right? So we need a moratorium. We're just doing affordable. That will actually make it more affordable to build affordable, uh, which is what we need to address this problem. Uh, so I'll end on that note. Again, I really appreciate your, your time. If people would like more information, I'm on kimcoco.com.